Playful Piggies and I am so excited for today's video. It was requested by a couple of people and it is just basic guinea pig hair. Hope you guys enjoy the video and let's get started. So the first thing I'm about to talk about is guinea pig hairs. So the number one thing you need for a guinea pig is a, another guinea pig. You need to have at least two guinea pigs living together. It is very important. They are herd animals and they need to have at least two of them to be happy. So the first thing I'm going to be talking about today is guinea pigs um, living together. Now if you're getting a guinea pig, you absolutely, <laughs> you absolutely need to get two. Because guinea pigs are social and herd animals, so they need to have at least two of them. Sorry, they're fighting over a carrot. <laughs> um, so you can you want to get normally two guinea pigs of the same gender, and that will be a perfect pair. And you can always get more, the more the merrier. A, a group of three is also great. A group of four, a group of five, you know, the more the merrier, as long as you have a big enough cage for it. And if you cannot get two guinea pigs or more, then you shouldn't get a guinea pig because it will be depressed and your guinea pig will not have a happy life. So now on to where you can get your guinea pig. Um, of course you can get your guinea pig at a pet store like PetSmart, um, but it is better to adopt. Um, your local animal shelter might have some guinea pigs. If you look around on ads, somebody might not be able to care for their guinea pig anymore. You can take a guinea pig in that way. Um, but if you cannot find a guinea pig up for adoption anywhere near you, you can always just go to the pet store and buy a guinea pig. But it is better to adopt, like I said. It is sometimes nicer if you buy your guinea pigs together. That way they're already, you know, they already know each other and you don't have to get them to meet and quarantine them. But you can get your guinea pigs separately and then you can introduce them. Okay, so now on to guinea pig cage size. The minimum size cage you're going to want for two piggies is 7.5 square feet for a minimum or 30 inches by 50 inches. For three guinea pigs you're going to want 13 square feet about or 30 inches by 62 inches. And then for four guinea pigs you're going to want 13 square feet as a minimum and about a cage 30 inches to 76 inches is a good size. One cage I recommend for a guinea pig um, is a CNC cage, which stands for cubes and core plast. These are what the cubes look like. I got these at Bed Bath and Beyond. And then for core plast, I recommend getting it at a place like Home Depot or Lowe's or somewhere like that. And basically, what you do is you cut your core plast into a rectangle and then just line it with grids. And you can also build a cage, like I have here. This is a wooden cage which we just really build a rectangle, we put down some kitchen tiles, and then we just sealed it up, and they love it, it's a lot of space. This cage measures 33 and a half by 72 inches, in case you were wondering. And another guinea pig cage you can have is if you do not like making anything. There are very few pet store cages that are big enough for guinea pigs, but there is one. Here is an example. It's the Midwest Expandable Guinea Pig Habitat. This is just what it looks like. I think there's different versions of this, but it is big enough for two guinea pigs. So if you do not like making anything, I recommend that cage, and I will leave the link to that cage. And I will leave the link to that cage in the description. So while we're on the topic of cages, I'll just go over toys and hideouts. So for toys, you're going to want something to, that they can nibble their teeth on. So super quickly, I'm just going to go through a few different kinds of toys for guinea pigs. There's all different kinds of kebabs, which you can just hang on your guinea pig cage with this little clip. All kinds of lava block chews, which my guinea pigs like these also, and they are pretty Probably cheap. the most common guinea pig toys are wooden ones, which are also a favorite with my piggies. And then there's all kinds of balls. Um, my piggies really like this one, it's corn husk. Another one of my toys that my guinea pigs like are, is this PVC pipe. They just like running through it. Just make sure that the opening is big enough for your guinea pig. You are also going to want some kind of hideout for your guinea pig. I have these plastic igloos, but you can also use just a cardboard box with the hole inside of it flipped upside down. 
or cereal box or anything really that you're going to pick and hide under. So now onto bedding, you can have fleece bedding or you can have like um, wood shavings or clear fresh bedding. I recommend both of them, but if I feel if you have a big cage, I recommend fleece because bedding could get expensive if you're filling a giant cage. So also, if you are using Care Fresh, it's a great bedding, but it can get expensive. I just use it for their litter box. So I recommend fleece. It is really nice. What you can do is you can just lay down some towels and a layer of fleece on top. Or you can buy custom cage liners off a place like Etsy or online or somewhere. But what I do is I just lay fleece over towels. Along with um, fleece bedding, there are lots of guinea pig accessories like beds, tunnels, all sorts of cute stuff which I will show you right now. So here are a few of the items, like there are guinea pig cuddle cups, these are called, <laughs> many people call these cuddle cups, they are basically just guinea pig beds. Like for example, this one comes with a removable pad, so if your guinea pigs poop on one layer, <laughs> you can just take that off and then use the other layer. Here's another example, this is a guinea pig tunnel, and guinea pigs love running through these tunnels and they are so much fun for your guinea pigs. Another great thing are called cuddle sacks or snuggle sacks and guinea pigs basically they just climb in there and they snuggle in there. Guinea pigs also love these. Also there are like waterproof potty pads which you put you can put anywhere in your cage especially under igloos so you can clean the potty pads instead of getting your cage dirtier. And then there's also guinea pig fleece pom-pom balls which these just are for your piggies to play with. A lot of piggies like to toss them around their cage, snuggle with them, and play with them. And all those things are on sale at my shop, the RC team. And just remember, to, if you are gonna purchase something, use the coupon code PLAYFULPIGGIES to save 10%. So now for the last thing is guinea pig exercise. So guinea pigs need to get exercise so different ways you can do that is you can let them run around a small and safe place like your bedroom as long as there's no cords, places they could get stuck, ways they could hurt, get hurt. Another option is to take them outside in the warmer months it, with a playpen so they cannot escape and they will love that and they love to eat the grass and they will just love you so much for it. So now onto guinea pig diet. Guinea pigs um, do need a little bit more advanced diet compared to like hamsters or something. So starting off, they do need vitamin C, a good amount of it, or else they can get a disease called scurvy. So if you give them enough of fruits and vegetables, then they should be fine. But I do like to give them a supplement just in case. It is the vitamin C by Oxbow, and they just come these little hay pellets. I do not recommend adding things to their water because they might not drink as much of it because they might not like it or stuff. So I recommend just giving them like a treat with it or something else. So just make sure your guinea pig gets enough vitamin C and they will be good. The next thing you're gonna need is a sort of pellet. The number one food I recommend is the Oxbow Essentials Cavi Cuisine Adult Guinea Pig Food. I love this stuff. This is what I feed to my guinea pigs and they love it also. So <laughs> probably the number one thing you're going to need for a guinea pig diet is hay. Guinea pigs cannot get enough of hay. They eat it all day long. They love their hay. They need hay 24-7. So whenever you see their hay empty, you need to refill it because hay is their life. <laughs> so you will be surprised if you've never had a guinea pig before how much hay they eat. So I recommend getting a pretty big bag of hay or even a box of hay and keeping it in a storage container or something. You will need to refill, it, refill their hay at least daily unless you have a really big hay manager. Um, make sure if you have adult guinea pigs that you feed them Timothy hay, not alfalfa hay. But if you have younger guinea pigs, then you will need to feed them alfalfa hay. And just a plain hay is fine. I like to get the one with carrot bits but any hay that is pure Timothy is fine. Another very important part of a guinea pig diet is vegetables. 
Guinea pigs need at least a cup of vegetables per day. And then this concludes the last part of our video. We are just gonna super quickly talk about guinea pig grooming. Um, <laughs> if you have a long-haired guinea pig, you can brush them. You should brush them. But if you have a short-haired guinea pig, you don't need to brush them, although they may like it. You do need to clip their nails, I'd say every month, maybe shorter, maybe longer, depending on your guinea pig. Just make sure their nails are always um, short, not too short, but you know, so that it doesn't hurt when they walk. And you also are going to want to bathe your guinea pig if it is long haired. Like my guinea pig right here, Vanilla, she only needs a bath about twice a year, but Marshmallow over here, she likes to sit in her pee all day long. So she needs a bath more often. I normally bathe her every two, every two months I'd say, sometimes every three months. And you do not want to bathe your guinea pig too often or else it can get rid of their natural oils. So I have a video on how to give a guinea pig a bath, which I will also link in the description box if you want to see a bath. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Sorry it is long. But I hope you guys found it informative and I'm hoping it will help you guys if you are getting a guinea pig or you just got a guinea pig. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.